Gorkai! Gorkai! It is I! Gorkai! <laughs> I'm merely here to offer the other side of the debate which has been severely lacking in this pajama boy convention. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> certainly. Oh, certainly indeed, she says under duress. <laughs> Chapo, frappo, bapo, wapo. <laughs> Here I am, under the chandelier of destiny. <laughs> Do you find it odd that I tracked you here to the Biltmore Hotel, Mr. Chopper? <laughs> well, this is a, a wonderful coincidence. Yes, wow. I Did speak to you collectively and as one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am in residence at the Biltmore, I'm afraid to let you know. I just came down from Milo Yiannopoulos' very generous penthouse room. <laughs> the bathtub is full of pork blood, of course. <laughs> And we said, why not pop on down and have a nice, friendly, bloody, violent chat with Mr. Jabba? <laughs> I'm, I'm maintaining emotional control. What do you Are you prepared that? for the debate? I, I mean, I, I'm not prepared for We it, have board debate. games upstairs. <laughs> Axis and allies. <laughs> Who do you play as? Cunning modifications from Avalon Hill available. <laughs> Who do you play as in Axis and allies? I always play as the Germans and minor allies. I am the Colossus of the Danube. <laughs> <laughs> the wine glass is a metaphor for your neoliberal society. <laughs> Most of it shall spill, two thirds. <laughs> and yet the stronger shall remain. <laughs> Some call it the dregs. I call it the sweetest part of the vine. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know the medical procedure for swallowing small pieces of glass? <laughs> I'm afraid that your president is a cock, Mr. Chapo. I've seen it in myself with mine own three eyes. <laughs> and to quote Sun Tzu, <laughs> the general is the pillar of the state. As he is strong, so is the state strong. As he is weak, so it shall crumble. I swear to God this is a different mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's half of all alt-right Twitter profiles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a service, Mr. Chapo. Might I? Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the era of the recumbent pajama boy is quite over. <laughs> Real men stand! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do you have to burn that flag now that it's touched the ground? That is the flag of the Vitezi Red. <laughs> it is burned nightly. <laughs> Hail the Vitezi Red! Hail Gorka! Ah! So, a new world is dawning, Mr. Chapo. <laughs> a new world where Washington is not the capital, where Moscow takes a second seat, where Budapest! is the axis around which the world shall open! And I forgot some for you as well. <laughs> Please. I guess I, I mean, now that we have this opportunity, I guess I want to ask you, what's life like since leaving the White House? What have you been up to? Life since leaving the White House is like a chess game. <laughs> Thank you.
where one has resigned at the moment of victory <laughs> to throw off the opponent who has called next at the rec center. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Chapo. We shall play our game in the penthouse. Why don't you take a dumbwaiter up to the penthouse, Mr. Chapo? Why don't you scoot into the elevator and press the button? It doesn't seem to be there at first. You underneath the fire alarm, rip it out, and there is an auxiliary button that says, Go! And the elevator will take you at an incredible pace to the top floor of the bar! <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. The game is a fortress, Mr. Chapo! <laughs> is, is this a challenge to us? This challenge is to any among you who is tired of his own insouciance. <laughs> who grows weary at his own passivity, who wishes for a moment to pull out the phallus of the PC culture and replace it with the phallus of combat! Do you dare, Mr. Chapo, to take on the dragon of Budapest? I, it sounds like you're talking about the mystery of chess boxing. <laughs> Something all more frightful, the dragon of Budapest itself. What? For I have what? prophesied that it shall rise. Oh my god. And indeed. Oh no! no. Oh my god! No. No. Oh my dragon of Budapest! Mr. Cole. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't worry. There is an emergency goatee underneath all Gorka offices. <laughs> You know what? As decreed in the Moonraker Convention of 1971. You know what? I haven't done this, but Gorka, I'm gonna bend the knee to you right now. Why don't you join the natural allies you have, Mr. Chapo? I'm right in the penthouse. Hop on the service cart and wheel around like Slimer. Go meet me in the penthouse. We're the Bimbo, for Christ's sakes. There have been proms here with white supremacists every year in May. This is more fun than having it in the holster. <laughs> Look at it. The ancient blood of the Vitezi Rend. The cycle of Hungarian fascism. From defeat to rising again to defeat again for a thousand years! I'm happy to... There is no way to unbend the knee except to beat me at chess, which is impossible because I cheat. I've... <laughs> I've got an idea. Sebastian, did you drop that? What? Did you drop that? I dropped everything. Glass everywhere. Anyone barefoot is fucked. No, that. Take a... Get that. Take a look at it. What? This electrical? <laughs> That's not a bad Go, 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 go.